Hey guys, on today's video, we're going to be downloading some apps right here on your iPhone. Now, this doesn't matter if you guys have an iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch. It's the exact same instructions. So let's just get started opening up your app store. By the way, if you don't see the app store app anywhere, that's okay. Just touch the middle of your screen and then drag down until you see this and type in app store. From there, we can just open up the app store. It's gonna be our first option. So from here, this introduction isn't the best. I wouldn't really take a look at all of this. So you can scroll down and take a look. However, it's really about the third option down here below. So in your third option, you're gonna see apps. And that's where you want to get started. So if you scroll down a little bit, you're gonna see iPhone starter kit. So just click on see all, which is on the top right hand corner. And you're gonna see quite a few apps here to download. For now, let's just go back. And if you keep scrolling down, you're gonna see popular apps. Keep scrolling even more down. This week's favorites. And if you keep going down, you're gonna see great apps for iOS 14. And then finally, top free apps and top paid apps. That's actually the best spot to start with this. So let's just go into top free apps first. So to see all, just tap on the top right hand corner. You're gonna see see all. And we're gonna see the top free apps. To download any of these apps, all we have to do is just tap on get. So that's gonna be on the right side of any of these apps. So in this case, for example, we're gonna download, let's go all the way down and download one of these guys. So for example, there's school class, there's other ones, fonts. Yeah, let's just tap on this one. So we're gonna see on the right hand side it says get. Let me just tap there. It's going to ask us to verify. Now, if you guys have Touch ID, it's gonna ask you for Touch ID. If you don't, it might ask you for your password. Once you put that in, there you go. It's gonna start downloading the app. Now there's a second section to this. There's paid apps. We're gonna go into there in just a second. For now, I just want to show you the process of downloading an app. So let's just go right into this app that I'm downloading. I'm gonna see that circle, it's filling up along the way. Now, how fast does it take? Well, depends on your internet speed plus how big that app is. Now this app's pretty small, so that's why it downloaded pretty fast. I can go ahead and open it up right now since it has been downloaded. However, if you want to see more information about any of the apps that you may want to look at, always look at here. Down here below, you're gonna see ratings and reviews. So if it's a paid app, especially, you do wanna see what people have to say about it. Also, you can look up the size if you keep scrolling down. So this one was only 124 megabytes, and that's why I downloaded pretty fast. Anyways, on the top left-hand side, I'm gonna see back, so let's just go back. And then we're gonna see our second section where it says paid apps, which will be on the right-hand side up, which will be on the top right-hand side. We're gonna see paid apps, tap right there. And from here, we can download any of these. Now we can see the price, and that's why we know they're paid and not free. So before I keep going, on the top left hand side, we're gonna see apps. Let's just go back. And I just wanna show you a little bit more stuff that's here. Now we're gonna see more apps such as Fun With Filters, there's workout apps. It's all about this section. This section's the best for you because you will see things such as entertainment, health, fitness. You can go right into these. So if you just wanna see educational apps, I can click right here and I can just look at all the educational apps available. I can also go back and I can keep going with all these apps. Anyways, there's also one more option here, which is almost our last option, which says Arcade. Now Arcade is a little bit different. This is a subscription service in order to access a bunch of games. So this is a monthly thing. So it's about $6 a month and you guys get to keep playing a ton of games for that price. So if you're a gamer, this might just work out for you. There's also another section, which is our second option, where it says games. Now on that section, these are paid games. This is different than Apple Arcade. Apple Arcade subscription service. Now here under games, we can download Minecraft, for example, for only $10 and so on. And our very last option here on the bottom right hand side will be search. So if you really want a specific app, this is where you search. So for example, we want Twitter. We can just search for that. And here we go. So I already downloaded Twitter. That's why it says open. However, if I didn't have an app, it's also gonna say get, 
or you might say a price like right here, $6.99. But anyways, those are the basics of downloading apps on your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch. If you guys are having any difficulties downloading any apps, let me know. I do have videos about that, getting around with older iPhones and downloading apps that require higher iOS. There are ways to get around that problem. But anyways, that would be it for this video. If you guys have any questions, comments, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.